I can't tell if I like this or not. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw that this came out, I was like, matcha, coconut, and peanut butter? I don't know how those are gonna go together. Like, that doesn't actually sound good, but I had to try it, at least. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's not like the best thing ever. There's just like not a lot of matcha. There's a lot of coconut. I think if there was more matcha, if it was like a matcha swirl, I mean, that's what it's called. It's called a matcha swirl. But if the swirl itself, if like the soft serve itself was matcha and not just matcha poured over it, I think that would be amazing. And then the peanut butter would kind of make more sense, but it's really just coconut, 90%, 5% peanut butter, and the to extra toppings, and then 5% matcha. But, I mean, not even. The matcha's like 2% there. I should have explained a little bit more about this collab. So if you didn't know, this is a collab between Chamberlain Coffee and Erewhon, and this is their second collab. The first collab, they did a smoothie. It's similar to the Hailey Bieber one. She has a smoothie collab with Erewhon. They also do a little soft serve version version of it but basically for this you can get it one of two ways you can get it just the matcha swirl which that just means the coconut soft serve and matcha poured on top and that's it or you can get it emma style and that's where all the peanut butter and the granola and all the extra toppings comes in and that is three dollars more but my th my thing is like why the fuck is somebody gonna get this collab and not get an emma style you know like if somebody's getting this soft serve they probably come from emma's audience so obviously they're gonna get it emma style you know what i mean like and also that just looks more interesting like you're getting more and like this thing is big look i got a coffee too i can have three bites of this and be over it it's also really sweet really sweet i was not expecting to like this because also i've tried emma's coffee brand and i really ugh, this, is, this hurts me to say it, it hurts me to say it I really wanted to like it because I love everything she does. I love everything that this woman puts out. I think her creative vision is chef's kiss. It's so unique, it's so refreshing, and I think she's really authentic, and I feel like she upholds integrity in what she creates. And so I, for the longest time, really, really, really wanted to like Chamberlain Coffee, but oh, I just don't like it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've tried the single, pouches like little coffee pouches and it's just fine you know like the only reason why i would buy anything chamberlain coffee is because it's emma's brand you know i'm not buying it for the coffee which is unfortunate because i know she puts a lot of or it seems like she puts a lot of effort into you know making it good quality coffee but i don't know and also maybe i haven't tried enough from the brand to give it like a full review but i tried to like it it's just kind of mid i'm ugh. I love her, I feel so bad saying this, but there's just better coffee out there. And this too, like I'm assuming they're using Chamberlain Coffee Matcha in this. And I've recently gotten into matcha. I've bought a couple tins of matcha powder and I've learned how to make it and stuff. And it's, oh, obsessed. I've been making it every morning for like three weeks now. I really give this maybe like a three out of 10. It's just so much coconut. It's called a matcha swirl. There's hardly any matcha in this. And I just, I'm not really understanding where the peanut butter comes in and the toppings was like granola but i was really only getting either walnuts or pecans and i don't like walnuts so that's just a preference i don't like walnuts but of course if you like walnuts then that's gonna be delish for you but the fucking short and sweet smoothie though that is the best thing i've ever had from air one best smoothie i've ever had from air one i I've gotten it twice. I've never gotten a smoothie twice. At least one of the collab smoothies. I've never gotten a collab smoothie twice. The short and sweet smoothie, I was like, I need to get this as much as I can before they're out. And I went to get it a third time. By then, they weren't selling it anymore. So unfortunate. So glad I got it twice. I would go often for that fucking smoothie, okay? I would. And I did also, like a long, long time ago, whenever Emma did the collaboration with Erewhon for her smoothie, tried it, didn't like it. I feel so bad because I'm an Emma stan. Like I absolutely adore her. Anyways, I'm in Bev Hills today because I had a medical appointment and I have a little tradition of going to Erewhon after my medical appointments. Anyways, that's literally all for the video. Complete side note, could I get any more basic? I could not get any more basic.
Like, let, let me explain, let me explain. I'm currently wearing the platform UGG slippers. A Harley Davidson baby tee, thrifted. I have Gucci sunglasses, vintage, okay? I have my fucking vlog camera. I have my road. I just went to Air One. I'm driving a fucking Tesla. Oh, my Stanley cup. My Stanley cup is my tripod right now, but my Stanley cup. Not to mention wildflower foam case. I spent literally my entire teenage years rejecting the basic bitch. And here I am. I embody everything that the basic LA bitch is. I just think it's so funny. You guys don't even understand because like you guys didn't know me when I was 16, but like when I was 16, I did everything in my power to be the opposite of a basic bitch. I was talking about this with my sister this morning because I kind of realized like I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, I'm a basic ass bitch. <laughs> I mean, not that this is new news, it's not new news, but sometimes I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, holy shit. And my sister was like, yeah, I did the same thing. I used to completely try not to be basic, da, 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 whatever, but life is easier unrestricted. When you're not limiting yourself because of dumb fucking reasons for why you don't want to be a certain way, when you're not restricting yourself, life is easier. And it's so true. Once I just kind of accepted this part of myself, like... <sighs> Life is so much better. I embrace my basicness. And I think there are certain things about me that are not basic either. It's okay, you know, it's okay. I don't know what the lesson is here. What well, the lesson is to live your life unrestricted, to not place fucking dumb, unnecessary, pointless rules on yourself just because you want to be perceived a certain way. Because ultimately I think that's what that was for me. I didn't want to conform. Because I also grew up in a very white town and so I didn't, want to fit that mold they didn't want to like fall victim to that stereotype even when maybe there were certain things about that aesthetic that i actually did enjoy life is so much better when you just like allow yourself to live authentically random random deep moment but um yeah she's a basic bitch